in this video i'll explain the closed loop speed control of a dc motor with the pid controllers so first we will build the model so that uh, we need a dc model first of all machines in sims cave in ring the dc machine model okay this is a dc machine okay now we require we require a dc source to give the uh, field system supply reference signal there is a constant term we require so we will bring all those elements that we need so the dc motor is there we will choose a preset model let it be a 5 hp 240 volt 150 rpm field 150 volt so we will give the dc voltage field as 150 ok then uh, we need a control input to this DC motor, DC motor input voltage we are going to adjust with according to the error generated and the controller output. So for that we need a controlled DC voltage source now. Let us bring that controlled voltage. Instead of giving a fixed voltage, we will give a voltage that can be controllable. There is a controlled voltage source is there. Let us bring that here. Then we need a uh, PID controller. Either type it here. PID controller. Okay. Well give the controlled output of this voltage this is the voltage source we'll give the voltage source to the armature of the dc motor is fed by this voltage source this voltage source is not a fixed voltage source its input we will be giving a signal input to the source on this voltage source according to that the output voltage will be generated okay so for that uh, we have placed the controller here then we need to give a uh, reference speed so the reference speed signal is a constant one that we are giving and uh, uh, adder we require add okay this we can make it as comparator no by adding plus minus like this okay this is one input okay and uh, another input is taken from this okay thus we will select a bus selector here need only the uh, speed measurement there so we will apply that in that speed now it is in omega uh, m which is in radians per second so we will change it to rpm by adding a gain block there is to be fed to this. So 
for feedback and uh, it's all put as good to go okay now we'll bring this scope here okay and uh, give uh, this reference speed as well as the actual speed input to the scope so that we'll make use of a max in order to plot it on the same axis so one input is this reference speed another input is this okay actual speed so reference speed and actual speed will be plotted on the same scope okay now what about this gain now that uh, omega is 2 pi n by 60 so in order to get uh, it in n in rpm omega has to be multiplied by 60 by 2 pi that is 30 by pi converted to speed in rpm now it is being compared in the comparator whose output is fed to the pit controller and uh, to the control dot i source okay now we will be bring the power g block okay and uh, let us set this Reference speed as say 1750 RPM. Okay. And uh, we know that this machine, DC machine, is of capacity 5 HP, means uh, around 3600 uh, watts, 3.7 uh, that much watts, it will be 5 HP motor. So its torque will be accordingly. You can find a T omega if speed is 1750 RPM, torque will be around 20. You know? So we can give a Let us give it 10. Okay. Now we'll run it. You can see the waveforms. This is the reference speed. This is the actual speed. Let us display this. Uh, let us title it. Oh, slow speed control of DC motor. Okay. And uh, display. Okay, you can give the Y label also, speed let it be, okay, see this axis is the speed axis, this is the time axis and reference speed was 1750 rpm and this is that, okay, we have made it as a closed loop control but uh, there are some steady state, uh, there is some error no, it is taking too much time to reach the uh, or nullify the error, but it does head to reach the steady state now, even and after two seconds. Okay, it is increasing, increasing, going on like that now. So, transients are over here almost. So, we we'll adjust the KP and KI values of the PID controller. PID controller is used to nullify the, with the help of PID controller. We, our intention is to nullify the error plotted between the actual speed and the reference speed what is the error between that that is applied to the controller part now we have actually taken the proportional kp value as one and ki value as one itself we haven't made any corrections there you can tune it means uh, normally we do it with the help of Siegler, uh, nicola something like that any optimization technique can be applied here there is an inbuilt tuning mechanism based on the transfer function block okay we'll apply it you can see this dotted line represents the block response if we tune the kpka values accordingly we can make this with the tuned response we show the parameters like this okay we have taken one one 
P and I, K, P and K, I values, constants of proportional integral constants. It will be tuned like this. Okay. I can do this block. Now it will be updated. See, the block is already updated with the parameters. Okay, see, now this is now put us very quickly, it is reaching within say 0.3 seconds. It is reaching to this. Okay, see. In, uh, see the values also. This was the tuned response now. Okay, within point two, it has, during the friendship period, it has been adjusted. Okay, parameters, let us see the rise time, all those things. Please. And the values we can get it from here price time settling time over short okay no that's it now if the mechanical load on the motor if it increases to say 20 okay you can see what is the uh, you can run the motor again but uh, we want the speed to be steady as 1750 so that's why we have given that input there okay so if we need uh, the speed to be say 1650 okay let's run it we want to control the speed okay let's see it is 1650 Now it is 1650. Suppose we want to get the speed, let's say 1800 rpm. Okay. It is 1600. The time may vary. The time to reach that or settle down that. Okay. So this is the what is meant by speed control. The machine will be, motor will be running at a particular load torque. Here in the earlier case we set the load torque as 10, here we have set it as 20. And, thus, and it, the machine is run as a variable speed. We will we want to vary the speed of a motor. So that can be done with a closed loop mechanism like this. Okay. Thank you.